Okay, first meal of the day is Monday morning. It's oatmeal. It just has a little sugar and a little cinnamon and milk. So Rye is having some pop cereal. Me and Raylan had oatmeal. Right, Rye? Um, I make myself peaceful with these two boxes of cards. Hey, Raylan wants a little yogurt before class. Okay, so this is Raylan's strawberry yogurt that he's going to have before he gets back in class. You had what this morning? You had oatmeal, no. and now you're having this. So he eats a lot, right? Don't you eat a lot? I must be. Mm. Alright, so we're getting ready for lunch and dinner. So first we're going to make some one pot macaroni and cheese. This is the elbow. Um, these are the cheeses we're using today. We're going to use Ermont, uh sharp cheddar cheese, medium uh, yellow cheddar cheese, also a Vermont. We're going to try something a little different. We're going to use uh, Kobe cheese. Not all of this, just a little bit of all with some butter, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, all in one pot. I believe I have my one pot macaroni and cheese recipe thing that I kind of do already up. So I'm not going to bore you with the details. Hey, hi, I'm in the channel. Okay, so these are the seasonings I use. Um, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and paprika. I think with the seasonings, now I'm just going to add the milk and butter. So Raylan's on his 20th snack of the day. You just had some Fruit Loop cereal <laughs> as we're making mac and cheese. And now as we're trying to cut up cheeses, I you are making you a what? Cheese cracker sandwich. Let's see it. Okay, it's not much yet, but I'm still working on it. It's still got a lot of cheese. Don't do a lot of cheese. Just put that one. Put one more on there. Now you make a cheese out. Okay, so I made him a snack plate since he's so hungry. Here it is. Grapes, crackers, and cheese. Alright, so we're going to add our cheese into the pot now and let it simmer a little bit and cook in. It's on his like 10th. No, you're on like your 50th snack today. So now he's cutting him a piece of cake. Okay. We're waiting on. Um, yeah, so we're going to make. I said burgers in the beginning. That's not what we're making. We're making. Um, Chicken wings, mac and cheese, and I'm going to put on some asparagus, and that's what we're having. This is kind of like a late lunch dinner type situation. Probably eat something a little bit later. We'll see. This is the mac and cheese here. It's all done, and it tastes pretty good, and I'm cooking asparagus now and the wings. Okay, we're finally making the chicken now. This said this is over there and it's done. So we're gonna plate this, this and show you what we have. Is that right? This is not a shallow thing, but I'm not sure if you're a kid like me. I would love to jump off the chair and hit the floor. Do not sit on your chair while looking at chicken. I sizzle because you will blow up. Okay, okay so Riley's gonna help us season the chicken. Nope. Bon appetit, y'all are dead chicken. <laughs> okay, so Rylan did too much black pepper, you can tell here. Do a little bit of paprika. Just a little bit, we don't need a lot. <laughs> I put too much. I open both seats. <laughs> so you can put a little bit more. Okay, so this is the result of rye seasoning, as you can tell. There's just a lot of going on here. And I'm apparently seasoning. We only have one more chicken to do. Right? And let him do the red. Go ahead and do the red. He likes red, so let him do that. It's, it's, here you go. I remember 
me doing this. All right, Ross. You did good. So this is the finished dish here. This is pretty much lunch and dinner. If we decide to eat anything else, of course, I'll hop back on camera. But I think this is going to be pretty much the last meal today. I'm about to eat this because this is my plate. And I think it's going to be really good. I'm going to come on to get me something to eat with this one. I'm going to test test for the th see if it's good or bad. It's day two. It's Tuesday and it's breakfast time. So we're going to have toast, some buttered toast. We're going to put this in the pot. We have bacon and we're going to have eggs. The kids are going to have frozen waffles. We do have a waffle maker, but um, we're pressed for time today. So we're going to use the frozen ones instead today. Ooh, bacon. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So we have our eggs are done. So we're making waffles and toast in our skillet. And there's our bacon again. Okay, putting a little cheese. I'm going to melt it. Then I'm put my bacon on top. It's going to be so yummy. This is the sharp cheddar, right? Mm -hmm. Vermont. I'm going to go melt it. Okay, so the cheese is all nice and melty. So I'm just going to add my bacon. Put a little hat on that. And we have a sandwich. Breakfast. So Rye's up for breakfast. He's having waffles and some mandarin oranges. Right, Rye? Need more syrup? Yeah. Ah. You're so messy here, y'all. Is that good, Rye? Yeah. That's all you needed? Yeah. That good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Raylan is up. This is his breakfast. He's having yogurt, waffles, and bacon. He'd rather have this than syrup, so don't put a lot, Raylan. Put just a little bit. You can save the yogurt to eat. I remember having this once. Mm. Delicious. Even better. I think I'm going to go and put the squash in here now since the chicken is basically cooked. What do we think? Oh, wait. So we're going to add a little corn and we're going to add a little squash to this and then we're going to put our chicken flavored soup pack in. So this is what the little sauce packet looks like here. I'm just going to dump it in. We're going to put in our squash and corn. Alright, the squash is on. So this is our soup. I'm going to put this on high. Probably like an hour and it'll be good.
having hot chocolate, right? And you're having soup. I'm done with that hot chocolate. What did you need? Mom! Oh, that's enough water. Yummy? There's he loves cup. corn. Get your cup. Here, we're just having potatoes as a snack. Enough by Gemini's. Oh my god. This is my rice with green onion, salt, pepper, and butter. I let it come to a bowl, then simmer. This is the this is the rice all cooked. Um, I had this with my soup from yesterday. It was so yummy. Having dinner now. I'm preparing dinner. We have our chicken. I gotta season it. I'm gonna try these in the electric skillet. Hopefully they look a little something like this once I'm done. I'm going to warm up my rice from earlier from lunch to have with this. Um, hopefully this comes together pretty easily. I'm going to use just a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of teriyaki sauce. So I'm going to put this on last, but I'll probably put the soy sauce on now. A little garlic, a little onion, a little paprika, just a little bit of brown sugar bourbon. Fat Boy Barbecue, the last little bit of that. Um, garlic, roasted garlic and herb. Maybe it was just a little bit of nutmeg. Poultry. And black pepper. I'm going to use just a little bit because everything else that I'm using has lots of sodium. So I'm going to be very careful. So this is pretty much all the seasoning I'm going to use. I'm just going to put like a little bit of this. And first I'll put a little soy sauce because soy sauce is salty. So just rubbing the salt in there. We're going to put no more seasoning than this really. Make sure it gets on both sides. Chicken is seasoned. Ready to put this into the electric skillet now with a little butter. All right, get ready to put the chicken in this pot, and we're going to put the broccoli and cauliflower in here. We have this. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. So I'm excited. All right, the chicken is on, and the broccoli and cauliflower is also on. The chicken is pretty much done. Now I'm just going to add the sauce to this. Well, Raylan's going to add it here, Raylan. So we're using this mandarin teriyaki sauce. I'm just straightening up the chicken. Well, not straightening it up, cutting it into light chunks just to make it stretch a little bit. But you could have just left it whole if you wanted to. But I know the kids don't eat a lot of it. There we go. That's good. That's good because we're going to add the other chicken in there, okay? Then we're just going to add a little sugar to that. What? Just a little salt. Put a little salt for me. All right, that's good. Thank you. So I'm gonna put the other chicken in here, and it's gonna not look like so much sauce in a little bit. This is everything here. I'm just gonna let it go together for like five more minutes. That's all that it needs. It's pretty much cooked. So five more minutes for that. The broccoli and everything is done. It looks like this in our skillet. So it did get this nice little color. I just didn't turn it over, but I like the way it turned out. See how I got a nice, really nice color, even though it didn't go into the oven. So I'm really happy with this. Can't wait to eat. All right, so this is dinner finally done. We have Mommy's, Rollins, and Raylan's. Raylan has a little cheese on here. It's here, Ray. Ra, this is yours. Juice. Yeah, I'm going to get you some juice. So ready to eat. It looks so good. Okay, so the boys are now having cereal, snacking, per usual, love their cereal, it's after dinner, and we're getting ready to make what, Raylan? Banana. 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 Banana.
stand up here. We're gonna try anyways. I see Rylan. Look. We're going to attempt the banana pudding. We have banana cream. My mom accidentally got sugar free. We're going to use a banana, vanilla wafers, and whipped cream. What happens if we do this? Look, man, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think I'm getting the hang of it. We're just lining the bottom with the Raisin, bananas. Raisin, no, you got to line them up, Raylan. Really. This is our pudding. A cookie. Line up a banana. Again, this is not, you know. Pull, fully operational. <laughs> but it'll be good. We just let it warm for a little bit. It's done. We're gonna put our whipped cream on there now. Ooh. Mommy crumbled up our cookies. Yeah. Mm. So delicious. It looks like it looks yeah, like no, Parmesan no, cheese no, um, mixed up with more no, Parmesan no, cheese no. with all the whipped cream in the universe. I could just crush it in half and eat it all up in the blood. Okay. The right. chicken ass. Try one. He's crumbling up his cookies. He's Very good. Got salt. Ooh, look at you. Okay, let me see you take a bite. I already took it. Mmm. Today is Thursday. Having a late breakfast. Everything is chaotic today. But we're having biscuits like yesterday. We're going to have some apples. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and get ready for lunch. It's my coffee bag. I'm gonna do this and a little French vanilla, and we'll have coffee. We're having burgers for dinner, and we're going to make some fries out of potatoes. So this is the butcher's blend. Yeah, we're making some homemade fries. Home fries. Okay, those are our fries. Okay. Fries are done. The burgers are done. We cooked them with onions and uh, mushrooms. Yummy. We don't have hamburger buns, so we're using regular white bread. Yeah. Toasting it over here. Here to make an entrance. Can you manage? I'll try. All right. Once you make ketchup and mayo. Yummy. It's Friday. I'm having a hot dog for breakfast. Um, just didn't feel like making anything else. It is lunchtime. It is lunchtime. I'm going to try this yellow curry sauce and some coconut milk together. And I'm going to use this on, I'm going to use this on chicken breast with some onion and garlic and just see how this tastes. All right, so I'm just going to season these with, um, these are chicken breasts. I'm just going to season them with salt and pepper. And I'm getting ready to put everything in the pot and show you guys what we're doing. I'm going to add a little bit of this to the chicken as well. So we have an onion. I'm going to use the onion. I'm going to use some green onion to the scallion. And I have a bell pepper. So I'm going to use the minced garlic in the jar because I can't find my garlic right now. Alright, so I have the white onion here. I have the green onion scallions. And I have the green bell pepper. So I'm going to put that into the skillet now. Okay, so I have butter now. I'm going to add in garlic, the scallions, green peppers, and the onions. All right, so everything is in. I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit, and then I'll add the chicken on top, and I'll add the sauce. 
After I tried this sauce here, the yellow curry sauce, I just tried it before I put it on everything just to see what it would taste like, and I didn't really like it. I might use like a little bit of it, but I didn't really like that. Instead, I'm going to try a little bit of the curry powder instead on top of the chicken with the uh, coconut milk, and hopefully it tastes just as good. Okay, the chicken is now in. Once that cooks for a little bit, I'm going to then add the curry powder and the coconut milk. So because I didn't like the way that tasted, I'm changing the whole thing, and I'm actually going to use some diced tomatoes with some coconut milk on top of this chicken, so we're changing everything around. Because I did not like the way that curry tasted. I'm going to use a little paprika on the chicken now. I think I'm going to use a little nutmeg on the chicken too. And then I think that's it. So that's what I'm going to do. Tomatoes and coconut milk with the chicken. Instead of the curry. I'm also going to use a little bit of this. So I'm going to use... And then coconut milk. Okay, so this is everything now. So I'm going to add the seasonings that I just told you all. I'm going to go ahead and put the coconut milk and the diced tomatoes in here as well. And then I'm going to cover this with a lid. Of course, I use the pot without a lid, but I find a lid and put on top of this and just let it cook and simmer and have a good old little time. And hopefully this tastes good. All right, seasoning is on. So now I'm going to open up everything and pour it in, put the top on, let it uh, simmer a little bit, and we'll have a finished meal in a little bit. Tomatoes are in. Now we're gonna pour in the coconut milk. This is the coconut milk that I'm using today. Okay, so it doesn't look too appetizing right now. I'm gonna get a spoon and stir this all together, then put the top on there, and just hopefully this turns out good. All right, so this is what we have here. I'm just gonna let this cook, and we'll just see what happens at this point. I'm gonna use a little red cayenne pepper too, just a little bit. Okay, so this is what it's looking like halfway through the cooking time. We just flip the chicken breast. So, yeah, we're almost done with this. All right, so it's pretty much done now. Um, I broke up the chicken into two pieces, but it looks good and it smells good. So hopefully it tastes good. We'll see. One thing that I love doing is going into the kitchen and creating something new or trying new recipes or just trying things that I've seen before. And this lunchtime meal is definitely one of those meals where I'm just trying it out to see how it all go. Um, and I really just had to change my course of plan because I was going to make curry and coconut milk chicken. But that curry was, I didn't like the taste of that. So we switched it around and just did like diced tomatoes, different seasonings, and um, coconut milk. So I'm going to just show you all what that is. Alright, so this is the finished dish here. I just added a little parsley and paprika on top just to make it a little pretty and to liven it up just a little bit. So this is what we have. I'm going to put this on rice and I will taste it and hopefully this is a good lunch. So remember if you're in the kitchen that you can always change things around and I can always make something out of nothing. Okay, this is our chicken here and we have our rice. So yummy. So this is lunch. Sorry. Okay, today we're going to make a goulash. We have tomato sauce. We have our diced tomato. We're going to use some garlic powder, Italian seasoning. We're going to use some rotini in this. We have some green onion, and we have a bell pepper. Okay, we have our garlic and onion in the pot. We're putting in our bell pepper next. Okay, so we have the meat in. I'm not going to grind it because we like to keep um, little pieces in there. So we're just going to like keep it into chunks or whatever. So that's what we're doing now. Then we'll add the tomatoes and all that good stuff. Now that the meat has brown, we're putting in tomatoes. That's the diced? 
Right? Okay, now you go put in the tomato sauce. Did you open the can? Okay. Go ahead. That looks good. So that's two cans of tomato sauce, one can of dice, stirring it in, and we're going to add our salt and pepper, right? What else? That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little cayenne in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting a little Italian seasoning. I'll put in a little salt. And tomatoes, they soak up their salt. No, you put a little garlic in there already? I put the first garlic. Okay, then it's good. I thought I'm gonna put red cayenne in my little spice kit. So we ended up adding the rotini to that. Um, we added a little cumin. I think that's how you say C U M I N to it, and a little bit of sugar too as well. And I'm just gonna have this with some crackers. Saturday, we're getting ready for breakfast. We're going to have grits, eggs, and bacon. Okay, so just put in the grits into the pot. We're going to put a little milk. We're going to put a little water. This is rye helping. Rye is helping by stirring. Good job, rye, rye. I'm going to put a little water in there, okay? Okay, go ahead, rye. Good job, Rylan. Okay, just keep stirring, okay? Yeah, a piece of, let's put a butter in there. Okay, I'm gonna put butter in. All right, keep going, Ryan. Butter. That baby is working. Wow, see, you got grits in there. Watch your hands. I'll put a little salt in there too. I'm going to put the salt in there now because they're hard to salt after they're done cooking. Alright, dump it in there, Ron. Okay. You need some more? Hey, go ahead, Ron, Ron. Okay, so I have our bacon. Ray and Ron are probably going to have waffles with this. And we have eggs. Alright, the grits are cooking. Got our skillet here ready for the bacon. Bake is in the electric skillet. Grits are now done. Okay, so the grits are now done. I'm making the toast and waffles now. Alright, so I have our toast and waffles in. We're making eggs now. So I'm going to use a little bit of honey on my toast here. Waffles are for the baby. Rye's having his waffle. We're getting his egg next. I'm going to put a little syrup on there. Ready? Run some syrup. Everything's pretty much done. We're going to melt some cheese into the grits. We have our waffles done. Toast. This is mine over here. Making my plate now. We gotta put some eggs. These are the eggs. All right, added a little cheese to the grits. It's time to eat now. All right, so this is breakfast. Have our toast. I put a little honey butter on my toast. We have our bacon. We have our eggs, and we have our grits. Bon appetit, y'all. Warming this up yesterday from yesterday. We could probably add some more tomato sauce, but I think we're gonna leave it like this. It's Sunday and this was breakfast. Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to have a tomato, cucumber, and onion salad with some of the seafood I had yesterday. So I'm just putting it all together now. Right, the tomatoes are in. So now we're going to put in the cucumbers. So this is the sauce that I'm using here, with just salt and pepper. And so now I'm just going to put a little salt and a little pepper. I'm preparing this early, so when I'm ready to eat, I will add this part on there too. 
All right, so this is it. We got our salt and pepper on there now. And we have onions, we have cucumbers, we have onions, we have our tomatoes, we have our cucumbers. I kept some of the skin on just for the picture's sake. But this is a little salad here. We're finally adding the dressing now. Alright, so this is the finished lunch here. Get ready to eat. I also added uh, red cayenne pepper to mine just for a little kick. So this is the finished salad. I added the crab and corn from yesterday's seafood bowl. And it's, it's good. For dinner we had a fried chicken sandwich and sweet potato fries. And I made this like cinnamon, butter, and sugar um thing to go over the sweet potato fries so these are all of the meals that we had um this past week hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on another jumble fam video bye